It appears that at one point in time, about a decade ago, Vice President Joe Biden, when he was senator of Delaware, actually cared about America's privacy. But of course, his tune has changed 180 degrees since he's been brought in the inner circle of Illuminati presidential power. Just going to show that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Because during the confirmation hearings of Supreme Court Justice John Roberts back in 2005, Joe Biden brought up a couple of very interesting points about Americans possibly being implanted with RFID tracker chips and having brain scans read our minds, which would be a violation of the Fifth Amendment protecting people against self-incrimination. Take a look at this. If you haven't seen it, it's a video from the 2005 uh, confirmation hearings. And this is Joe Biden's voice here. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. Very interesting. He sounds actually genuinely concerned and to bring up such strange and little known issues at a Supreme Court confirmation hearing uh, is extremely bizarre. And it sounds like that at one point he actually was concerned about such things. Uh, that was almost 10 years ago. And now we have mind reading machines are slowly making their way into the public. Of course, everybody by now knows about the implantable RFID tags, which Looks like they will probably be bypassed by the masses, and uh, instead, people will be using wearable tech. That's right, it won't be implanted into you, it'll just be a nice little wristband. Hey, it's your, it's your smartphone iWatch, it's your new, uh, it's the front line of healthcare, right? Get ready for wearable tech to plug into health insurance, reports Forbes magazine. Many people now are aware that the wearable tech is rolling out that connects wirelessly uh, to your doctor's office to monitor your health and monitor how much you move and where you go. And, uh, you know, probably future versions will determine whether or not you're taking those mandated drugs or not that the big pharmaceutical companies have prescribed because uh, the face scans, the brain scans, the mind reading machines have determined that you're angry. You're paranoid. You're talking about this New World Order Illuminati conspiracy. We've mandated that you take this uh, drug, otherwise it's a $1,000 surcharge on your Obamacare bill. You know, back in 2008, a woman was convicted of murder by a brain scan. An fMRI, a functional MRI, which can determine whether or not somebody has had, quote, experiential knowledge of something. Something I reported in my 2011 book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. Uh, a story which then, slowly, years later... In April of 2014, started making its way into the mainstream with scientists, quote, exploring the possibilities of mind reading when one uh, university had actually developed a technology where they can pick images out of your mind and actually reconstruct them. Reconstruct them. Of course, the government uh, loves this technology. There's even a company called No Lie MRI which is offering this technology. The technology used by Noli FMRI represents the first and only direct measure of, truth, measure of truth verification and lie detection in human history. Noli MRI uses techniques that bypass conscious cognitive processing, measuring the activity of the central nervous brain uh, rather than the peripheral nervous system. Yes, yes, that's right. A real company offering a, a lie detector on steroids. But... I go back to Joe Biden, who genuinely seemed to be concerned about such things until, of course, he was just brought into the invisible empire and uh, probably took his uh, Luciferian initiation because the man isn't even qualified to be a greeter at Walmart, let alone the vice president. So possibly, since he was so vocal at the Supreme Court uh, justice confirmation hearings back in 2005, I wonder if the uh, Invisible Empire decided to sort of bring him in on the fold uh, and then get him so deep that he just simply can't speak about such things because he went from talking about that, warning about that, really, to uh, promoting a new world order now, the affirmative task before us. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, 
uh, a new world order. Spit it out, Joe. Spit it out. It took him 10 seconds to, you know, spit, spit that out. Because the global order is changing again. Yeah, the global order is changing again. Oh, that's our firm of tax to create a new world order and then just have people plug in those, uh, you know, bio bandages or the wearable tech, right, that he once warned about. Uh, you will rule on that. Yeah, they're going to rule. They're going <laughs> to rule that. Well, yeah, I guess you don't have to take it. But, I mean, if you don't, it's just a, you know, it's just going to be a $1,000 a week fine surcharge on your Obamacare. It's a non-compliance tax. You will take the mark of the beast. Uh, that's what they're going to be planning. And, and most of the people will line up for it. I mean, you just look at the tech trend. He's just waiting for the Google Glass, walking around, parading their uh, new mind-controlled trendy device, uh, right? So interesting to see Joe Biden's 180-degree flip there. Uh, and just, you know, that's, that's what power does to people. That's why Lord Acton said power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And that is really sole purpose for most people wanting to become president or really just wanting to get into government, too, uh, is the power. I mean, that's why you got so many power trippers like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the actor who just got bored, got bored of being a big celebrity superstar, you know, blockbuster movie star. So just you know, want to become governor of California. It's the power. Stroke their ego, inflate their ego. So I thought I'd point that out. A lot of new people to the movement, a lot of new people to the channel might not have seen the the once concerned and caring Joe Biden, uh, and you may not know about the fMRI, functional MRI machines, quote, it is mind reading, uh, pure and simple. You can even imagine way down in the road a witness to a crime might want to come in and reconstruct the suspect's face. That's right. If you happen to witness a crime, they want you to come down and they will extract that memory from your mind to get a composite sketch of the suspect. Anyway, check out my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. came out in 2011, and it just gets more and more valid every single day. I mean, in detail, all the revelations that have finally, well, it's so much more, that have finally made their way are starting to into the mainstream press, thanks to Edward Snowden and others. Old news to many of us, but for those who are new to this kind of material, a lot of people are coming of age. A lot of teenagers are trying to uh, find out their way in the world, put the pieces of the puzzle together. So get yourself up to speed. Pick up the book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. Get it. It's not in stores. In paperback from Amazon.com or download it right now onto any of your e-reader, iBooks, Kindle, Google Play, or Nook. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and the playlists and stay tuned. There's more videos coming soon.